What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a semi do-it-yourself alignment on your car. Now this isn't a full four wheel alignment or anything like that. Of course, go to a normal shop, have them do that with precision. Here's the thing, I am very, very picky with my steering wheel being perfectly straight. And when I mean perfectly straight, I mean when you're holding it in your hands, it is level. You know, your logo on the steering wheel is level. It's in the correct orientation to where it doesn't feel like you're turning the steering wheel going straight. With that said, every time I get an alignment, the steering wheel always seems to be a little off. It feels like I'll be going straight and yet the steering wheel is crooked for whatever reason. And when I use my eyes to level out the steering wheel and straighten it, I start drifting. So in today's video, we're gonna use the tie rod ends and make a minor adjustment on my wife's Audi S3 to straighten out the steering wheel. It won't affect the actual alignment, so the tires, of course, are gonna to continue to wear correctly. However, it will straighten out the steering wheel to where it will be straight along with the car. So we're gonna to jump to the GoPro point of view so you can exactly see what's going on with the Audi right now and then show you how to do it. So as we get onto a straight road, let's test out the before and we'll see the crookedness that I'm finding with the steering wheel. Hopefully it comes off on camera, but I'm gonna follow the center straight line in this road right towards that house in the distance. So as I'm traveling straight, you might be able to tell that the steering wheel is a little crooked that way. Now, if I put the steering wheel perfectly straight, as you can see, I'm slowly drifting to the right towards this white car. And that is what absolutely drives me crazy. So once again, driving perfectly straight right now, as you can see, the wheel is crooked, hopefully you can tell. And when I straighten out nice and flat on the bottom, I am slowly crossing that center line over into this right lane. So that is what we are gonna fix. We're gonna go from this being the straight car to that being the straight car. So as you can see, the steering wheel is a little bit crooked on the car, which drives me absolutely crazy. Here's what we're going to do. This right here is the tie rod end. You can see that ball joint, and then it goes up all the way here. You can see this nut, these threads, and then all the way into there, which is where the steering components are. So basically this rod right here, we're gonna make adjustments to. That way we can straighten out these wheels and in turn straighten out this steering wheel. That way straight on the car is straight on the wheel instead of straight on the car being crooked on the wheel. So now it's time to go ahead and get to work. Now here's the thing you wanna do. You wanna be really conscious about which direction you wanna start pulling these rotors. Because for me, you know, if we think about it, if I'm holding the steering wheel perfectly straight, my car is drifting to the right. That means my rotors need to aim towards the left Therefore, they will be perfectly straight. So I already went ahead into the driver's side. I made that side smaller. I pulled the knuckle in closer. That way it made the knuckle start pointing to the left. On this passenger side, I also need it to be pulled to the left, which means I need to make this longer. So the tie rod end, you can see the threads right there. I need to make this post expand this a little bit. That way it pushes this, that way just a tear. So to go ahead and get started, the best thing I have found to do, go ahead and take some blue painter's tape and we're just gonna pull off a couple inches and just wrap it around the clean part, which is you know right where the shiny metal is, not on the threads and not on this hex bolt, which should be built into your tie rod end. Every car might be a little bit different. I'm doing this on the 2016 Audi S3. From here, I'm just gonna make a line right here on this flat part that way I know exactly where the top is and just line that line up with that one. So now I have two lines so I know exactly how many rotations I do. And the biggest thing, you wanna do the exact same amount of rotations, left side to right side. That way it doesn't mess up your alignment. I'm also gonna do just a small one right here just so I know where the bolt was. It'll probably end up being different just because the threads will now be in a different position. But from there, we need to now loosen this bolt right here, which is going to make it to where I can spin this in or out of this tie rod end right here. That of course connects to the knuckle and everything and steers it. So we know the threads are pitched at this direction. So I need to pull this upwards to start loosing it. All right. <laughs> So that worked. So with this bolt nice and loose now, I'm now going to be able to take my adjustable wrench and put it on this hex area and actually adjust this either in or out. So over on the driver's side again, we had the rotors kind of aiming to the right. When my steering wheel was straight, the car was drifting to the right. Therefore, with a straight steering wheel, the rotors and wheels were angled slightly towards the right. So over on the driver's side, what I did, I tightened this area right here to pull it to the left. Therefore, I put this tie rod end 
inside the actual end right here. So over on this side, we wanna pull the car again to the left. So what I wanna do, I wanna expand this just a little bit. So I'm going to turn this in the opposite direction I did of the driver's side and make this expand one full turn. So we have our line, so now I'm gonna pull it this way, which is gonna make it to where we can do one full turn in the direction that will expand this joint a little bit. And of course, it's very important to stress to do the, the exact same amount of rotations per side. So right there looks like it's about level. And then we can just take this nut and tighten it back together. And now what I've successfully done is adjusted my steering wheel so it should sit nice and straight. And as you can see, those are nicely lined up. And now we have expanded this one full rotation to get this rotor aiming more to the left. And on the other side, we shortened it to get it aiming a little bit more towards the left. So with the car back down on the ground, wheels are all torqued back to spec. And of course, everything was nice and tight. It's time to drive the car. We'll go back to POV. And hopefully I did it in the correct direction. And hopefully it's nice and straight. All right, so we are now done with the adjustment for the car. Let's get back onto the straight road and see if the steering wheel is nice and straight as I follow the center line. Again, this drives me so crazy whenever I'm in a car, but it's nice to know that I can probably do this myself at home. So I am tracking pretty darn straight. Steering wheel is straight from my eyes. I think the bottom is nice and flat. Audi logo is level. And we are tracking straight towards that house right in the center. So we solved the issue. I hated driving like this, but we were going obviously in the wrong direction. So now nice and straight wheel and we are tracking perfectly straight. All right, back from that test drive. As you guys saw, it was a success. I'm glad I did it. Uh, correctly the first time that way I don't have to waste my time taking the wheels on and off again But this is a really good tip for those of you who that drive you crazy You know if you go to, and get an alignment done and then it's just not quite perfect to where your steering wheel isn't quite straight That's happened in all of my cars actually when I had the Toyota Supra That's kind of where I learned about this I had an alignment done after doing the wheels in the springs on the Supra and then after that the steering wheel was just a little bit more crooked now the way people do alignments of course you bring them to the shop and the technician gets in there lines up the wheel nice and straight to their eye my eye maybe i'm crooked i don't know my eye might be a little bit off compared to others but for me i want it level for me as the driver obviously and with that adjustment one full rotation on the left and the right side just getting them to poke towards the left just a tad we're now perfect and like I said, that's not gonna mess up the actual alignment or anything like that. This is strictly going to adjust the steering wheel's position relative to the wheels. And since I did it at an even way, both one full rotation towards the left, it doesn't affect anything negatively. It simply straightens out the steering wheel and gets it perfect. Uh, the GTR I had the same issue with when I did the wheels and springs and everything on that car. Uh, the alignment came back and it was just a little bit crooked. I had the shop redo it. Uh, but now I know I can do it at my house just to completely further fine tune it. That way you're not wasting the shop's time and half the time they'll probably charge you more. But there you guys go. That is how you straighten out your steering wheel at home on your garage on some jack stands. It is super simple. That really didn't take too much time. It was more effort just getting the car up on the jack stands than it was actually making this adjustment. But that's how you do a minor alignment at home to get your steering wheel nice and straight. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.